What is up guys? This is Lowe's Car 50 and today the day has come. Bam! We got a fresh set of American Racing 1 3 quarter inch long tube headers that are gonna go onto this bad boy right here. My 03 Cobra. So stay tuned. So yes, this is the moment I've been waiting for to get some long tube headers. My car currently has a Bassani 2.5 inch cat back system and I'm going to add this onto it with the off-road X-Pipe and believe it or not I still have the baffles on the Bassani tips so <laughs> I'm going to take those off as well but with the addition of that and installing these bad boys this car should sound really really nasty especially at wide open throttle. So on my previous car, the 2015 Mustang GT, I had a set of American Racing headers as well that I installed. Um, and I was really, really happy with the quality of the product. Honestly, I was stuck between Cooks and American Racing for this car. Uh, after doing a lot of research, looking through the forums, you know, SVT performance, looking up videos, uh, asking um, you know, help from people that I know that have experienced both, both brands of headers, I decided to go with American Racing. I thought this was the best header for me. So, again, I already installed these on on a 2015 Mustang GT, and I was really, really happy with the with the, the quality and just how how easy things went on. I understand this car is gonna be a little bit different. I've heard it's really, really tough to do the header job on these cars. You gotta drop the K member and a, a little different things, but that's okay. I'm gonna take on the challenge of doing this by myself. But I'm just going to take my time. I'm going to do this throughout the weekend. If I have to spread it out between two weekends or three, that is completely fine. I want to make sure that everything gets done properly. And I just want to fit up everything the way it's supposed to be. All right now, so this will be the last cold start with the stock manifolds, Bassani off-road X-Pot, and the Bassani 2.5 inch cat-back system. So as you can see, I got the car jacked up with four jack stands. So I'm going to fix them to uh, take off the front wheels, take off essentially everything that I need to take off in order to drop the K-member. But before I do that, I'm going to have to set up a engine support bar just to make sure the engine is uh, sustained because essentially it sits on the K-member. So we've got to have that sustained. And we'll check back later. Alright, so been a few hours working on this car, just taking my time and uh, so I finally got the K member fully dropped. I got a, quite a mess around here. It's really not that bad as I, as I thought it would be. Got the engine support on. Yep, and then uh, so what I'm going to do next is uh, simply drop the engine just a little bit and uh, put some some uh, PB blaster on the studs for the manifolds let it sit overnight so the next day or next chance I have when it comes to breaking those loose they should come off much easier this is what she looks like right now <laughs> under surgery and as a reference I have the support on the two bolts they go for the timing cover I took off the nut slid both ends of the chains in put the butt the nut back in and then same on this side that's how I did it and it's holding really well
So while I'm at it, since I already dropped the K-member, I went ahead and bought some motor mounts for the car too. Put these fresh motor mounts on because I believe the ones I had are pretty much uh, shot out. So yeah, taking that opportunity now that I have all that space and clearance to change them out. Got the passenger side manifold off, cleaned up the gasket. I'm using the stock gaskets, the header gaskets, and I cleaned up the surface as well on the block where the gaskets go with a Scotch Bright pad. And then, as I mentioned earlier, I'm switching out my old motor mount. It's really old, really, it's pretty much busted up with a brand new motor mount since I have all the room to do it. Super easy to take off with that K member off. We're making progress little by little. The passenger header is on, and there's a few things I want to just point out just for an FYI. So, the hardest bolts to get to are these top two. Uh, furthest to the left bolts and what I recommend is obviously drop the engine quite a few inches with the support bar and also put a jack stand underneath the end of your transmission and take off the four bolts that hold that brace that hold the transmission onto the chassis so that way you can drop the transmission from the back and with dropping the engine from the front with the support bar, you can get enough clearance. And I also uh, took off the, the motor mount as well as a starter to give me more, more room to play with. All right, so we got the driver's side header on. This one was relatively easier than the passenger side. A few things to note, especially with these uh, American Racing headers you have to remove the dipstick tube, which is right here. And then you put your headers on and then fish in the tube between the second and the third primary tubes. And that's pretty much it. The hardest bolt to tighten was, I believe this one right up here. But other than that, so much easier than the passenger side. So now that I got everything back on, or I got the headers on, I'm gonna jack up the transmission and lift up the engine as well. Rebolt my uh, support bar for the transmission and then begin to uh, do the reverse process to put my K-member back on. So as a quick comparison, this is a stock manifold right there. These little dinky things <laughs> compared to that oh my gosh just so beautiful <laughs> that's gonna be all the exhaust flow you could ever imagine so this is the final outcome right here the headers on the x pipe then the Basani cat back with the tail pipes that I polished up there in the back. Oh my gosh. It just looks beautiful under here. <laughs> oh yeah. And right there you can see that pipe right here. Um, I took it to go get a no two bunch welded on for my wide band. So I did that, put it on. So I got everything pretty much finalized. Since this is like a slip fit design, um, they're known to have like issues like down the road, like if you want to take apart the pipes and stuff, they, they tend to seize up. So what I did, I bought some Primatex copper anti-seize and just applied it on every uh, joint where the slip fit design is at. So basically these uh, one, two, and that three and four over there, just to help in the future if I ever need to take it apart. It should slide out 
with no problem. Alright, we're gonna have a little cold start with the uh, American Racing one and three quarter inch long tube headers, off road X pipe, and the Bassani two and a half inch cat bag. Here we go. So the time has come. The car is already warm. I'm about to hear these beautiful heavenly sounds <laughs> from this nasty Terminator. All right, let's get it. That's a little sneak peek for y'all. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next video. It's going to be a pure sound video. Code start, warm up, driving, you know, point of view, uh, all that good stuff. Drive bys, all that good stuff. I'm very, very happy with how it sounds. Um, it just, it just sounds perfect. It sounds perfect. I, I was afraid I was going to want to change the mufflers to something a little bit louder, to like a, like a Borla Attack or a Stainless Works muffler. But these Bassanis, without the baffles and long tube headers, perfect. Just perfect. So, obviously the sound on camera is not the same as in person. You can never compare, but it's just to give you guys a little taste, you know. <laughs> Anyways, stay tuned for the next video. Lowe's Car 5.0, out.